Well, the NHLPA player poll came out today, and we see you and I being former players. This is something we would have voted on if we were still playing in the league. So why don't we take a look at a few categories and see if we agree or disagree? Why don't we start with the forward you were most like to have in a must-win game? Connor McDavid was first. Sidney Crosby was second. Do you agree? Connor McDavid is the best player on the earth. He might actually be the best athlete by a wide margin over the field, without question. However, you said for a most the must-win game, I would most like to have it would be Sidney Crosby. He's won everything. He's played in every situation. He's a two-way force. And he's on Mount Olympus of players. I'm going with Sid for that one. In these kind of situations, and you can't discredit what Sidney Crosby has done in the clutch moments he's had in the past, but I like to defer to the best player. And for me, that is Connor McDavid. The season he's having is historic. And there's just something about him this year, Weeksy, where it seems like he's a man on a mission. Rarely do you see him crack a smile, but what you do see is highlight goals night after night, dragging his team into the fight. Connor McDavid has been dynamic and electric and in a must-win game. Give me Connor McDavid. Why don't we go to the most complete player? Sidney Crosby came in first place in this poll. Second, Patrice Bergeron. Do you agree or disagree? Make a case for either one of them, but I do agree with Sid. This is now 18 seasons of being a point-per-game player. 18! It's incredible. Second all-time. I just, in knowing Sid, I love the way he competes. I love the fact that he takes responsibility in every facet of the game. Not only does he will his teammates to elevate them to higher levels, but he brings them there by way of performance. He's an absolute stud. I'm rocking with Sid on this one. Well, I'm going to the player that got the third most votes, and that's Alexander Barkov of the Florida Panthers. When you say the word complete, that means something to me. That means you need to play in every situation. And Sasha Barkov plays two minutes on average shorthanded per night. Not to mention he plays four minutes on the power play, plays on the first line, plays all the matchups. Yes, Sidney Crosby may be more dynamic. He may have more points year in and year out. But when I think of a complete player, I think of Sasha Barkov, and he's a dominant player. And he's not, Weeksy, underrated anymore. So why don't we get to the third <laughs> category, the most underrated player, Sasha Barkov, again, gets the first place nod. This is a conversation we were maybe having in 2016, 2017, but is Sasha Barkov still the most underrated player at this point? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Listen, we're down at, we, we look down at Miami part-time. Everybody knows Sasha Barkov now. And on the NHL landscape, everybody knows how good of a player he is. You just alluded to it yourself. I'm going to pivot. Forget South Beach. Forget the one rooftop hotel. Leave that in the past. Let's go back up north, back up to Buffalo. Go up the QEW from Toronto. It's Tage Thompson. Tage against the machine. That's the most underrated man in the national. He's pushing for 50. And if he didn't get hurt, I thought he would have scored 60 this year. That's my guy. It's hard to... It's really hard to argue against Tage Thompson, and he's really emerged this year. And with this category, sometimes it has to do with the market that you play in. And look no further than a guy True. like Jesper Bratt. He's really emerged onto the scene, and maybe New Jersey doesn't get as much play in Canada or around the league, but when you watch them play, it's hard not to notice him. His skating, his edge work, how dynamic he is. He's having a career season, and he's not someone that you talk about among the superstars in the league, but on that team in New Jersey... He's right there riding shotgun with a player like Jack Hughes. And it's hard not to ignore the fact that the New Jersey Devils are a better team this year with Jesper Bratt playing as well as he has. So, Weeksy, we took a look at a few categories, some we agree with, some we disagree with. What do we know? We're just former players after all. Exactly. You nailed it. That's exactly. I'm just a former goalie. Scarborough kid at heart, former goalie. Yeah, we don't know that much, evidently. <laughs> 